It is 40 degrees and uh, we've got some non 40 degree music going on here. I don't even remember if I've started filming today. I'm sorry. Let me check real quick. Maybe I did film a clip this morning. I don't know. Nope, I neglected to do that. I apologize. Anyways, uh, I got up at like one something today. It was pretty late. I was up pretty late trying to catch up on the watch later playlist. My god, that's gonna be a disaster. I've got like 75 videos to do. It's gonna suck. But at two o'clock we went over and uh, looked at something. I don't know if he wants me to mention it or not yet, so I won't. Um, Saturday we'll talk about that. I, I hate saying that. I have something to tell you, but I can't. But I, I can't. But you'll know soon enough. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, well, it kind of is. I don't know. It's exciting. We'll talk later. But it's 7.14 p.m. As I said, 40 degrees, and we're waiting in a traffic light here for nobody. I wish there were smart lights here. Um, after I was out doing stuff this afternoon, I went over to the grandparents' house, see if there's anything I can do for them, anything they need since we got back. And um, pretty much just said, no, not till Saturday. We'll start taking down the Christmas stuff. And, well, it was 50 degrees and sunny a couple hours ago when I was over there. So I went outside and I got probably 75% of their exterior Christmas lights down. So made good progress with that. Then we got a pizza and some breadsticks for dinner. It was very good. I'm on my way home to do more catch-up work. I still haven't uploaded yesterday's vlog. I'm a day behind. So I'll export and get that up and we should be straight back on time, back on schedule tonight. It's been a, a off schedule 10 days. And I don't like to be off schedule and things like that. So we'll fix that ASAP. I was talking with this to somebody the other day, talking about this to somebody the other day, I think it was Colt. Cars that you can see at night and you instantaneously know what they are, even if you're not a car person, by their taillights. And I happen to be following one of those cars right now. You may be able to tell or the, flip, the flip's quality could be too poor and you may not know. This one happens to have four exhaust tips and Michelin Pilot Sport tires, I can tell. And this is an Audi S5 with a Firefly sticker on the back of it. <clears throat> Anyways, cool. So Audi is one of those cars that you don't really have to know a lot about cars, but you can tell at night you see their headlights and or taillights and you can tell what it is. Another one of those cars, and one of the first ones to be so recognizable after dusk, I feel is BMW. In 2001, they got the Hella Sealess lights. Um, with actually the E39 was the first car to wear those headlights and now they all have it if they have the Xenon light package. Um, so that's one of them. BMW and Audi. Mercedes, I can't tell, I, I can because I know a lot about cars, but I don't think Mercedes does much. Honda CRV maybe because they're up there on the C pillars. But what other cars can you instantaneously tell what it is just by the light cluster? Now for me, a Ferrari 458, I would be able to tell that by the front lights. Um, I can tell most any car by the light clusters, especially police cars. Uh, <laughs> but other cars on the road, I think I just, I know enough about cars and I drive enough to know cars by their light cluster, which in some cases can be very good. But let me know, if there's any cars that I missed aside from BMW and Audi, what cars are very recognizable by their head and or tail lights? All right, I found something else to complain about. Just got behind a um, new Hyundai Elantra, I believe it was, and it had a license plate, license plate frame on it that said Kia of Bedford, which if you don't know, Bedford is kind of up north near Cleveland-ish, and there's something called the Bedford Auto Mile. There's like every single brand of car you can, you can name, they have a dealership there, except for BMW, they're in Solon. But everybody's up there, so. If I were to buy, I guess I'm too much of a brand whore, as you may call it, but, but um, even if I were to buy a Hyundai, I wouldn't want it wearing Kia license plate frames. If I were to buy a, um, a 5 Series and it said Ferrari of Beverly Hills, no thank you, I would not want a Ferrari of Beverly Hills tag on my, uh, my Honda, or whatever I said, but in, in, some, in some cases it's funny. Like, Kenan's parents, they have uh, the Honda Odyssey, and it, I think it says BMW of Cleveland on it. It came on my dad's 530 many, many, many years ago, 
and, and that's on there and it's just funny because it's it's us you know but maybe they have their own thing going on with the Kia but I don't know I just feel like people buy it like a used Mercedes or something from a BMW CPO lot and then they'll just leave the BMW tag on there and that isn't right the Mercedes should not wear BMW logos and the BMW should not wear a Mercedes logo that's just how it goes and the temperature is now 35 degrees the car is telling me there could be ice one two three and four in the morning earlier than usual I'm gonna pack this up, get the vlog done. I'm back on schedule as of tonight. Again, I apologize for that. I'm gonna go take a shower, try to catch up on this YouTube stuff, and go to bed. Talk to you guys tomorrow, Thursday, January 10th. Good night.